Today is Wednesday, November 3rd, 2021, and this is the 43rd episode of Eagle News. My name is Michaela, And my name is Madison. Today's fun na- holiday is National Sandwich Day. I love all the different combinations a sandwich can provide. The ultimate inconvenient food is one of the most beloved foods around the world. It is no surprise that the humble sandwich has its own day. The unofficial holiday commemorates the birth anniversary of John Montagu, the fourth oral sandwich. Rumor has it that the modern day version of the sandwich came about when Montague's servants put some meat between two slices of bread as a way for the Earl to eat his meal while gambling. Don't forget to buy a yummy sandwich at lunch, Eagles. I definitely will. Now let's head over to Emily and Maddie in the Eagle News weather station to hear today's weather. Thanks, Michaela. Today in Powell, there will be a high of 48 degrees and a low of 29 degrees. It will mostly be sunny, but it will still be super cold. Time to find those winter coats. That's it for today's weather. Let's head back to the Eagle News studio for today's first video segment. Before we get to our first video, let's celebrate Native American Month and with our fact of the day. Did you know, according to the 2020 U.S. Census Bureau, there are 727,135 Native Americans and Alaska Natives in the United States today? That's about 2.9% of the population. 9.2 million people have identified themselves as American Indian or Alaska Native in combination with other races. Cool fact, now on to our first video report of the show. For our first video segment, we get to see our 8th grade citizens of the month. Let's go check out our outstanding citizens of the month. Here to announce our citizen of the month for our team. So team 801 is pleased to announce Liam Hayward as our October citizen of the month. Since the first day of school, Liam has shown tremendous leadership qualities. Not only does he go out of his way to help, he is humble, kind, and completely engaged as a student. We appreciate these qualities during any school year. We're especially impressed with Liam's natural ability to lead by example while we navigate a semi-normal school year for the first time in 18 months. Several times, Liam has been caught doing the right thing when he thought no one was watching. When offered a positive token of appreciation for such actions, he has always declined. He does the right thing because he knows it is the right thing to do, and that is a very special quality of anyone, much less an eighth grader. We are so appreciative of Liam and proud to have him as part of our team. We look forward to working with him as the year progresses. We know his future is very bright this year and beyond. Congratulations, Liam. All right. Yay, Liam. Awesome job, buddy. According to Webster's Dictionary, leadership is defined as the power or ability to lead other people. In the short two months that we have known Nate Hodges, we see a leader. Nate leads by example in all of his classes. He comes to class prepared. He is always on task and he works hard. Recently in his American history class, Ms. Osborne has watched him lead while working on a group project. He stays on task and his group members are motivated to stay on task just by watching him. In the science classroom, Nate is not only the leader of his group, he is also one who leads by example in the classroom by setting a positive example for all to follow. Nate is always kind and courteous to all teachers and students alike. In the ELA classroom, Nate's leadership is illustrated through his willingness to ask questions and seek clarification. For instance, in preparation for a recent vocabulary quiz, Nate took the initiative to seek a better understanding on one of the more challenging words. During math class, we can always rely on Nate to answer posted questions and contribute to the conversation. He enjoys helping his peers understand the material and is always willing to help a classmate when needed. We are proud to have Nate on our team this year and look forward to watching his leadership skill continue to grow. Throughout first quarter, teachers have emphasized the importance of leadership during our Hyatt's Way advisory session. We have talked about the characteristics of leaders, examples of people who stand out as leaders, and quotes about leadership. The student who we selected as this month's Citizen of the Month stands out for her excellent leadership abilities. She is not someone who draws a lot of attention to herself, and she may not even consider herself to be a leader, but her teachers recognize her willingness to speak up in class, do the right thing, treat everyone with kindness, and get involved with her school as characteristics of being a leader. This student is quick to participate in class and volunteers answers, even if she is not sure that she is right. 
Many students are fearful of what their peers may think of them and they let this fear prevent them from engaging in learning. But this student takes advantage of each day she is in school and truly advocates for her learning by asking questions and engaging in class discussion. Finally, she is involved in her school in clubs like student council and environmentalist club. This student stands out as a leader because she seeks to get involved in her school and truly make the most of her eighth grade experience. Congratulations to Dia Candula on being selected as this month's Citizen of the Month. Keep up the great work and keep being a leader. Let's go. That was a fantastic video. We love seeing all of our Eagles being such great role models. Do your best in the month of November so that you can be selected as a Citizen of the Month. Great job, students. Now for today's headlines. For today's headlines, we have some fun announcements. Today after school, there is a War Eagle Winter Line in the clinic, War Eagle Line Clinic in the band room until 5.30. Then afterwards, there is a parent meeting until 6. War Eagle Winter Line is a group that consists of percussion and dancers. They also get to compete. If you are interested, head to the band room to after school today. Also, the student council is collecting candy for the military. If you have any leftover candy, please give it to your advisory teacher or Ms. Navarre. All candy is due by Friday. Winter Run Club starts on November 16th. This is a club for all students from 6th to 8th grade. You can learn more about it on the main Schoology feed. You will need to read this announcement in its entirety so that you have the correct forms filled out to participate. You have a couple of weeks to get this done. Hey Eagles, it's Bridget and we're going to interview Ms. Slusser and ask her some questions about her career and how she came to Hyatt's. What is your favorite thing about teaching? Well, obviously probably the kids because that's why most teachers get into it because they want to work with kids and try to make a difference in their life. What college did you go to? I attended Miami University in Oxford, Ohio. What made you want to be a math teacher? Honestly, I just didn't really like any other subject. I always liked math. I also didn't want to teach elementary school because they have to teach all the subjects and I did not want to do that. So I just loved math and that's why I went with it. How long have you been teaching for? I taught for four years out of college, but then I stayed home with my kids for 15 years. So this is my 12th year back teaching. I joined Hyatt's in 2010. Who is in your family? I have three kids. So Matt is 27, just bought his first house. My daughter is 25 and she's in grad school. And then my youngest, Jack, is 21. If you weren't a teacher, what would your job be? I think it would be totally cool to be a singer. So I would go to Nashville and be a country singer. Have you lived in Ohio your whole life? I have not. We lived in Michigan for three years. but. Then we came back to Ohio. What are some of your hobbies? Okay, I love to sing by myself. I love country music. Um, I like to be with friends and family. I like to walk. I like nature. And I love crafts. What was the most difficult thing about teaching during hybrid year? That's hard to answer. I really liked teaching hybrid, but I think initially it was difficult trying to post all the assignments for the two different groups and keep up with um, helping the kids when you didn't see them every day. Do you like pineapple on your pizza? I do. Pizza. I think pineapple on pizza is awesome. Thanks for watching Eagles. We had a lot of fun interviewing Miss Slusser and learning about her teaching life and family. Hey, Eagles. That was a fantastic video segment. It's really nice to learn more about the teachers. I agree. I hope to see more in the future broadcast. Before we get to the pledge today, we wanted to let you know that Mr. Meta has started podcasting in Eagle News. We will let you know when some of the, our episodes post and how to listen. If you want to look for some old episodes, search Eagles Beak on your podcast app on your phone. More information to follow. And now let's stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.
Now it's time for... Trivia! Let's head over to the trivia studio with Emily and Maddie to hear today's trivia. Thanks, guys. We love to see all your participation in trivia. Keep up the great work, Eagles. Congrats to all the teachers for getting all these trivia points. Here's the final standings to our October contest. Congrats to our winning advisory. Check out the final standings. Yesterday's question was name something you might find on the ocean floor. The number one card was... Where's the card? Here you go, here you go, sorry. <laughs> the number one answer was sand for 33 points, coral for 16 points, shipwreck for 15 points, shells for 10 points, shellfish for 9 points, rocks for 6 points, starfish for 6 points, and seaweed for 5 points. And now it's time for today's trivia question. Name a very expensive car brand. Again, name a very expensive car brand. Make sure to send in three, yes, three answers to Mr. Meta to get your points for today's question. We love seeing all of your responses. That's all we got for today. Now let's head back to the newsroom for Mr. Meta's best thing. Thanks, Emily. Now it's time for Mr. Meta's best thing. For today's news, we are going to look at some things that Mr. Meta found on the internet. Let's roll it. I love watching Mr. Meta's best thing every day. Same here. It's always, it always brings a smile to my face. Now for our lunch report. Here's Josie with what is featured in the lunchroom today. Hey Eagles, today for lunch we have pasta of the day, hot sandwich, or pizza with your choice of fruit, vegetable, and milk. Have a great day, Eagles. Bye. Thanks for that, Josie. Lunch sounds so good today. It's time to wrap up today's news. But before we go, we would like to leave you with our daily quote. Every day is a second chance. I love that quote. Make sure to share it with all of your friends and family. Hey Madison, what are, we are doing something new for the trivia at the end of the show, and here's how it works. We will give you a clue this week. There, there will be only three clues, and we will reveal the answer on Friday's show. On a regular week, we will start on Monday and go to Friday with one clue a day. If you think you know the answer on Monday, send Mr. Meta a guess, and if you are right, you can earn 50 points. Guess on Tuesday, earn 40 points. Guess on Wednesday, earn 30 points and Thursday 20 points. If you guess before 8 on Friday, you earn 10 points. You only get one guess a week. If you are wrong, you get zero points for the week. Only one guess per week and we will keep track in the Eagle News Classroom. So here's the first clue. He wears a fedora, a leather jacket, and carries a bullwhip. Good luck and remember to only guess if you are positive that you know the answer. If you get the correct answer today, you will earn 30 points for your advisory. That's all for the news today. My name is Emily. My name is Michaela. And my name is Madison. And my name is Maddie. Have a great Wednesday, Eagles. We're already halfway through the week. See you tomorrow. Bye! Bye.